A sad update to a story that we've been following through this weekend. Lifeguard officials say a 15-year-old boy's body was recovered this morning. It was believed that he was carried out into the ocean by a possible rip current. News for Jack's reporter John Aceba spoke with Ocean Rescue uh, in Jacksonville Beach. This is not a drill. This is a real-life rescue happening. Elisa Mole and her boyfriend are visiting from Germany. They could not believe what they were seeing. But I've seen this on the TV a couple of times. Yep, you see how there's no waves breaking right there? Our cameras were rolling as the lifeguard pulled someone into safety on Jack's Beach. I was standing with Lieutenant Maxwell Irvanian as the call went out. You're going to be feeling um, the water pushing you away from shore. Lieutenant Irvanian with Ocean Rescue Lifeguards took some time with me to hammer home some important things to remember if you get caught in a rip current. So if this was the shore and I'm being carried that way and I'm in out of here... It's more of that angle? Exactly. You okay. know, you want to swim diagonally back into shore. And, uh, you know, if you let the if you let the rip current take you um, out of the rip current, now all you're going to do is just have a longer swim back into shore. But can't stress enough, don't swim directly back into shore because you'll swim directly back into the rip current. You're going to have to swim parallel to the shoreline and then swim back into shore. Thankfully, the lifeguards made it to this person and got them to shore in time. Sadly, over the weekend, a 15-year-old boy drowned while swimming not far from where we were standing and doing the interview. His body was recovered in Ponte Vedra. As rescuers were finishing up Monday, I had Irvanian go through the things to watch for in the water. No waves breaking, disorganized waves, and then the second thing is going to be discoloration of the water. Got it. And because of the sand being churred up, or it could be the sea foam that's being pushed out. And then the third thing is when at the base you have two waves that kind of form and create an X. And when you form and create that X, that's kind of usually the start of where the rip current may be. All things that this couple will likely take back home to Germany. But this is like horrifying, actually. Insane. And lifeguards are hoping you take the advice home too.